to just kind of put together a little thing here to demonstrate how you could take out a computer that might be in the basement of a building somewhere or inside of a inside of a uh, under a bunker or something like that with a round that we call depleted uranium. And depleted uranium is a round that a M1A2 will usually fire and it it'll fire into another tank and what happens is when it goes in one side of the tank it basically makes a a one inch hole or two inch hole, whatever the diameter is. I think that's OD. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then on the other side, it'll go through the tank. And on the other side, uh, it'll, it'll come out the other side of the tank. And what that does is create a vacuum. And it just create it, it just goes in and out because depleted uranium is one of the hardest substances. It's like a diamond, basically. It's just really hard. So it'll penetrate anything. And when it penetrates, even a tank, it's going to create a two inch hole on one side and a two inch hole on the other side. And it's moving so fast that it sucks the contents of the tank out that hole. So if you were in that tank, you'd actually just turn into pink mist and come out of the other side of the tank. Basically is the way a Sabo round works. Well, I got this great idea because apparently we got some computers out there that are trying to uh, conquer the world and <laughs> nobody really knows where they're at and if they do I've got a really good idea how we could secretly take that out and we could even make it look like somebody else did it if you pull this off to perfection you know a little <laughs> scandalous like and this is the way you do it now I've already described the Sabo so here is uh, a video with some Sabos depleted uranium is about 1.6 times as heavy as lead this high density means depleted uranium is an excellent armor plating because very few materials can penetrate it. Depleted uranium is used as armor in the Abrams M1 series tanks and as 105 millimeter and 120 millimeter kinetic energy penetrators for M60 and M1 tanks. Depleted uranium is used in 25 millimeter rounds for Bradleys and 20 millimeter and 30 millimeter rounds for aircraft. A kinetic energy penetrator is a non-explosive round made of a high-density material formed into small diameter rods of various lengths. They are used to destroy armor and other hardened targets. Other uses for depleted uranium include ballast and missiles, as counterweights in aircraft, and as radiation shielding. The two main depleted uranium health concerns... Okay. <clears throat> We're not worried about health because we're trying to blow some shit up. Now, I got a... We're not blowing it up. What we're going to do, and I'm going to get into this. This is the idea, okay? You can penetrate a tank with this. Now, the faster that that depleted uranium is moving, let's say that you had it encapsulated in a uh, some sort of a missile-type directional precision-fired rocket, right? But you wanted to fire this thing in a way that nobody knew that you fired it, right? Well, how? let me show you what... And, and Lockheed Martin, I guarantee I could probably present this to you, and it'd be a great fucking idea. Let's say that you put it on a weather balloon, right? And you you had, you had uh, some way of navigating this weather balloon, and you took it all the way up to the stratosphere, and nobody knew you did that. Let's say you, you were in New Mexico, when you launch this thing up and nobody's seen it go up in the air. And then you, I think the Japs tried this already. Uh, and, but they didn't have the technology that we have today. Now let's say that you motored this, uh, uh, you know, you had a way to, to point this thing in a direction that you wanted to go. Now, it's way up in the stratosphere. It's not going to be on radar. Nothing's going to see it. It's going to get way up there where there's no radar seeing it, and it's just going to be invisible, right? Now, you put that Sabo round right in there. I mean, this is a precision-fired rocket with Sabo in it, okay? So when that thing comes starts falling, A, you got gravitational pull getting speed on a Sabo round, which is depleted uranium. Now, you got this Sabo round moving so fucking fast now, it, a lot faster than it would ever be moving coming out of a tank. Plus, you can put some thrust on the aft of it, and you can also have, you're going to have to be able to guide it now, so you're going to need some kind of GPS or something like that in play, because you want this to be a precision strike, okay? Because you have, let's say you had a quantum computer or artificial intelligence or something like that, 
at in the basement of an office building. Okay, so now you got this thing way up in the sky where nobody knows that you've lifted this thing up, right? And this could this could work. I, I mean, the only people that I would ever say that would I would ever mention this to would be the United States government. I wouldn't want to give uh, you know information like this to any other government, just in case you're wondering. However. Now, let's say this is the building, okay? And you down here, you've got, uh, down in the basement, you have a computer that you want to take out. Now, that Sabo would come from the stratosphere, hauling ass, depleted uranium. It would penetrate every fucking floor. Da, 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 da. It would penetrate everything in that building because it's moving 10, 20,000 fucking miles an hour, right? And by the, and, and all it's going to do is leave a one-inch hole in the top and a one-inch hole down here, right? And it's going to destroy whatever's in the basement if it's precision fired, okay? And guess what? Nobody would have ever fucking known who did it. Indeed.com. I'm all mixed up. Oh. <laughs>